Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Horizon Singles. Uh, I decided to use the same team even though it wasn't really the greatest team in the world. Um, I really, really want to demonstrate the power of Mega Garchomp, so hopefully we can in this episode. If not, I might just rework the team into be like a sand team so we can really show that off. Um, but yeah, I mean there's so many ice types floating around that it's not really worth it to bring Garchomp sometimes. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to hit challenge. Uh, we're going to get started. So I recently ran out of my trial version for Adobe Premiere, and um, that was my main, my main video editing software. And it's, it's quite expensive to do it. And the fact, the, the, bad, the sad thing about it is that it's expensive and it only lasts for a year. You can't use it past the year. You have to rebuy it. And that's really annoying. But I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. Let's discuss our opponent first. Um, our opponent's going to be bringing Grand Ninja, Chandelure, uh, Hitmonchan, Ferrothorn, uh, Milotic, and Rotom Wash. Uh, yeah, you know, he doesn't really have that ice type. I mean, he does have Greninja who does carry Ice Beam, and of course the uh, Milotic will carry Ice Beam as well sometimes. And not always, but sometimes. Um, I'm thinking, judging by his team, it looks very defensive. So I'm going to start off with my, um, my Star Raptor. I'm going to bring Garchomp. And... I want to bring Ferrothorn specifically for most of the physical threats he has, but also because it can wall Greninja pretty well. But what I was saying is that Adobe Premiere is really expensive. It's a great product, don't get me wrong, but it's really expensive. So basically what I'm trying to say with the story is that I um, used Camtasia when I first got my new computer, and I hated it. I hated it so much. It would freeze, it wouldn't record, it would be buggy, but um, the the position where you can um, sort of edit the videos wasn't that bad and it was pretty user friendly so I, I kinda like that and um, but either way like I really hated using Camtasia so you know I moved on I got XSplit, XSplit's amazing but that doesn't come with a built-in editor so I needed to edit it I'm gonna go for close combat here it's gonna do damage um, and I couldn't up oh, I can you know like edit so I needed something so I looked into you know various things wow that did not do as much as I thought it would. Ooh, this looked good. Um, so yeah, I I, I looked into, and I really liked Premiere, and then you know now it ran out, and now I have nothing to do, and I'm just like, oh, what do I do? You know? So I went back to Camtasia, and I did it. I did it for yesterday's videos, and I gotta say, it, it's kind of odd how it worked out because now it works. You know what I'm saying? It it works pretty well. And for for um, you know editing videos, and the funniest thing about it is, I basically use the same exact settings that I used in Premiere. And when I uploaded a video that exported from Premiere, it took about like two hours on my um, on my computer and internet to upload, or like or like an hour, more like an hour. And it would take that time, and it was just really bizarre because. Um, it took so much effort to put it up, and the quality was great, but it's like such an expensive program, and I don't really understand. Maybe you guys can tell me. Um, I don't really understand why I couldn't, wh why it took so long, you know? Because I, I uploaded this morning as I'm recording this, the video that you're, that technically you guys are seeing tomorrow, or it's today, whatever. Basically, what it was was, I uploaded that video, I uploaded two videos at once, and both of them uploaded in 10 minutes, and I was really confused because their average length, they were about like 16 minutes long, and they both uploaded in 10 minutes, and I was like, what, what's going on? So I, I think one of the things is, is I export Camtasia stuff in 720 instead of 10, er, in 1080, yeah, and I guess that's one of the reasons why, but Honestly, it that didn't really make too much sense to me because it wasn't that big of a step down. It wasn't like, you know, 420. It wasn't like really low. It was just 720, you know. It's pretty close. So I don't really understand. I'm going to Mega Evolve here. Um, who did he start off with? I've been talking and I forgot. Ferrothorn. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Earthquake. I missed if it had a Air Balloon or something. It's probably going to go into a Flyer. Oh, no. Into the Ferrothorn. 
Um, so yeah, it, it's interesting that it uploaded so quickly, and it really surprised me. <laughs> I didn't even have enough time to finish editing the, the description, so I had to like go back and save it, but I don't know. Just, just a fun tidbit about what's going on with my recording and stuff like that. I just, I found it hysterical. I found it really funny. I found it just awesome. I like that it did that, and now I don't really have to worry about getting another program. Or buying, you know, Premiere. Because Premiere is so expensive. It's like $240. But you only have access to it for a year. And then it basically is just like, okay, pay again now, please. I don't understand why companies are going that. But yeah, I'm really liking Gar. I like, you know, when they first revealed the Megas, I was like, I don't like Garchomp. Garchomp's stupid. I didn't like Garchomp to begin with, to be quite honest with you. And, you know, like, it's weird. Things grow on you. Things definitely grow on you. And Garchomp is definitely one of those Pokemon that grew on me. So, of course, I'm going to switch right into my Ferrothorn here. Don't want to lose my Garchomp. Um, I liked it a lot on my... um my sand room team because it, it, it's kind of cool it's kind of cool in sand room because it does get that speed drop it's not the fastest it's not the slowest pokemon in the world so it, it's you know obviously not going to be that great but i don't know i i really like the way it worked and i'm gonna i killed you ow ooh, i killed your pharaoh thorn i'm gonna go for the gara ball um it's not you know the slowest pokemon in the world and something that i've been noticing lately which I guess I could talk here, even though this is singles. Um, I, I've been working on my Blastoise team, and it's it's moved away from VGC. It's not VGC 2014 anymore, because what I wanted to do with it was I wanted to add a Cresselia into it. And um, originally, the plan was Cresselia was to go over Aromatisse, but turns out, you know, that wasn't the best idea. Um... I liked Aromatisse on that team. Aromatisse was really good on that team, and for that specific reason, you know, I kept Aromatisse, and I got rid of Amoongus for Cresselia, and then, you know, I was, like, looking up online, and I noticed that in VGC 2013, a lot of people used the Cresselia-Heatran combo in, um, in... in VGC 2013, and I was like... That's, that's not too bad of a combo. I, I kind of can dig that combo. Uh, what should I do here? I'm going to bring in uh, Garchomp to maybe die. But, um, yeah, no. So, I brought in... Um, I brought in Heatran over my my personal Talonflame because, you know, the more I thought about it, as good as the, the set is, it really does... Ooh, nice avoid. It really does miss out on a lot of important KOs that I really needed. Like, it doesn't always KO Venusaur, and Venusaur wrecks my team. So I needed something for Venusaur. And, uh, of course, the one thing I'll bring in for Ven... I'm gonna go for Earthquake. The one thing I would bring in for Venusaur would be Heatran. It just walls it for days. I looked it up. Giga Drain on a Mega Venusaur does, like, 8%. It's ridiculously... It's ridiculous, and that's Modest 252. And, um, Modest 252 Heatran with Life Orb does 50% to Thick Fat Mega Venusaur. Just, just wrap your head around that for a second. I thought that was awesome. I thought that was awesome. So, that's exactly what I went for, and, um... I think it worked out. I think it worked out a lot. Um, and because of that dynamic, you know, I had to get rid of, um, I had to get rid of a few things. I switched my, um, my, whatchamacallit, my Marowak for a Rhydon, because if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that Rhydon is fantastic. It is one of the strongest Pokemon I own. It, it is insanely, insanely good. It can do Marowak's job and then some. It takes damage like no other Pokemon can. And I just, I, I adore it for that. And because of that, you know... Did I just screw myself? I did not screw myself. Okay. I was going to go for Gyro Ball, but I decided Legion Seed was a little bit better because I thought the Ice Beam... I thought... My, my initial thought was it was going to go for like Hydro Pump or something because, you know, Hydro Pump would make him survive the gyro ball and he'd be able to damage me enough to kill me with ice beam so that was my original thought but i i, uh, I guess that didn't really work out my i, I over predicted there but um 
yeah, I, Rhydon is just one of the best ground types, I think, in the game. With Eviolite, it just wrecks. Oh my god, it wrecks. I love it. I love it. I can't, I can't live without Rhydon, so that's the exact reason why I did, in fact, switch out Marowak for Rhydon. And then, you know, I started realizing I don't have a very good counter for rain teams, you know? Blastoise is my main, my main Pokemon, and, you know, I don't have any real grass-type moves for them. And on top of that, you know, I didn't really know what to do, so I threw in a, a, Gorga, a Gorgeist, a Gorgeist, a Gorgeist, um, I threw in a Gorgeist because I thought that'd be good. Now, let's, let's hope we can outspeed this because I made a mistake of over-predicting him, so I'm gonna go for this, uh, I'm gonna go for a return, that should kill it, and we outspeed with Scarf, nice. I don't think he saw that coming, but, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I really enjoyed this new team, it is really powerful, um, and I guess what started me on that that talk was I had the uh, the, the Mega Garchomp, and it's not you know the fastest thing for Trick or, or slowest thing for Trick Room. Um, it's pretty it's pretty fast for Trick Room. I think it's like base 80 or something like that. And the thing about it is my um, due to the nature of the Pokemon I'm using on my Blastoise team, you know Blastoise is base 78 speed. Heatran is base 77 speed, and Cresselia, I think, is like base 80 speed or something like that. Um, they're pretty fast for Trick Room, and, you know, I, I was, you know, I was testing it out the other night, and actually, you know what, let me pause for a second, let's, let's think about our team. So my opponent's going to be bringing uh, Venusaur, Zapdos, Gyarados, Garchomp, Tyranitar, and Gengar, a pretty standard team from what I've been seeing. Um... I mean, I'm going to start with Staraptor. Staraptor is a pretty cool lead for this team. Um, on top of that, I want to bring Ferrothorn, and I want to bring... Nothing else. I really don't want to bring anything else. I'll bring uh, Garchomp. Um, but what I was saying was, like, you know, they're, they're kind of fast for Trick Room, and... I was battling a lot of Trick Room users, and something that I noticed was I was basically playing Trick Room teams as if they weren't Trick Room teams, if that makes sense, you know? Or no, no, <laughs> that's completely wrong. I was playing them as if, you know, I was trying to get rid of the Trick Room. Even though I benefited from the Trick Room, his, their, my opponent's teams were so much slower than me that I really didn't benefit from the Trick Room. So every time he'd set up Trick Room, I'd protect. And then I trick room again to get rid of it, and I, and I realized, you know, that's really cool about this team, that it functions well outside of trick room because of the general speed and bulkiness, but it functions really well in trick room because, you know, they're still not really fast, and I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of ranting now because I don't really know, I, I just wanted to talk. I've been doing this team for a while, and, and to finally have like a breakthrough that's like a really strong team. Is really awesome, you know, to make a team like that by myself. You know, most of my teams aren't the greatest teams in the world, and um, the best team I've ever used, especially in doubles, was that one made by uh, Bridger Snow, that I that I used for the last like 12 episodes of VGC prep. So, for me to use that, it I don't know. I just I'm really really proud that I made a good team like that. Uh, so he's, he's, my opponent's gonna start off with the Zapdos, shiny Zapdos, which is pretty cool. But uh, that Thunderbolt's way too obvious. I'm gonna bring my Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp's gonna do some good absorbing of this attack, hopefully. Um, I know. <sighs> Volt Switch. Okay, cool. Uh, I know. You know, Zapdos are pretty strong, but I don't know if they carry HP Ice all the time. So I'm just gonna go for Dragon Claw. It's not the best move, but I honestly didn't think he'd stay in with the Zapdos. I, I was pretty sure that he would switch out, and of, of course it's going to be for the Gyarados, which Rockstar probably would have been a little bit better. But uh, I am Mega, so it, it really should do still some good damage. I think it's like base 160 attack. I don't know. I'm making that up. I'm making that number up right off of the top of my head. But um, let's see how much this does. I'm kind of curious. Crit? Yeah, that was a crit. I apologize, my good man. Rocky Helmet. Okay, so I'm not going to go for that again, but I'm going to go for Rock Slide. Actually, you know what? You switched out before, didn't you? Yeah, you switched out, so I'm going to bring in my Ferrothorn. Because um, you switched out against my Garchomp, which means you don't have an attack for me or your choice specs. 
Just by the Volt Switch, I think you are choice of ice. Okay, so he goes for Ice Fang. I was really hoping he'd go for Ice Fang. Um, sometimes I don't say what I'm thinking out loud. Well, that was probably a really loud S sound. Um, that's probably a really loud S sound. I'm just gonna go for Gyro Ball because at this at this range it should still kill it. Um, and whatever he switches in is probably gonna take some damage from this. You know, not not a lot of damage, but some damage. Okay, so in comes Zapdos. The way you brought in that Zapdos makes me believe you have a Heat Wave. I mean, you, you'll be able to take most of my attacks pretty well. And I won't be able to take Heat Wave. But we'll protect and see what exactly you do. Heat Wave is interesting on a... On a um, singles Zapdos. But I guess, you know, it's the only fire move you get. So, and it's respectable. It's respectable. Alright, come on. So you're just gonna go for the return. So you might not have Heat Wave. Probably predicting me to switch into my Gyarados? Or my Garchomp? Huh, okay, well, I'm gonna go for Leap Seed, um, I don't think, I think he expected me to switch out into maybe, uh, Garchomp, maybe, I don't know, I can't switch out now because he did Mega Evolve, but he's even faster now, so depending on how much damage he does, I'll probably be able to take him out with a, oh, well, he is gonna will OS me, very interesting, I've never seen a, well, no, that's a complete lie. I see Gengar's run will o all the time. But even though, you know, he burnt me, I, I really still feel like the Gyro Ball's gonna do a lot of damage. He's really fast, he doesn't resist it. Um, I really think the speed difference will make the burn sort of negligible. It won't take him out, but it'll, it'll bring him down far enough where I can kind of stall him out, I guess, sort of. Uh, he's gonna withdraw though. Oh, you're a jerk. <laughs> you're a jerk. You jerk jerk. Jerk, jerk, what? Jerk, 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 what? Jerk, 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 jerk. I really don't think he has anything for me, though. I really, really don't. Because he keeps switching out, you know, predicting and stuff like that. I'm going to go for Leech Seed again. Because Leech Seed will negate this. I only have one Gyro Ball left. Oh, my God. And I need that for the Gengar. Oh, you do have... Oh, the luck. Oh, my Lord. Oh, we both miss. <laughs> That was fantastic. Alright, time to bring in that Garchomp. Take this heat wave like a boss. Um, am I too worried about that Gengar? Not really. Um, judging by the fact that I switched out first means I'm, I'm slower than him and he's not switching out. So he's going to go for that heat wave again. Yeah, he's going to go for that heat wave. He is going to get it off. Hopefully he doesn't get a burn. No, he doesn't. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do? I'm going to go for Dragon Claw. That, I'd be silly not to. Uh, Dragon Claw will do the most damage, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it will. I mean, there there is Rock Slide. I could run Stone Edge, but yeah, I'm probably gonna go for Stone Edge next turn. Let's see. Or er, Rock Slide, not Stone Edge. I don't have Stone Edge. I was saying Stone Edge was probably a better move for this Garchomp if I'm using it in singles. Don't burn me. You didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Rock Slide now. He hasn't seen me use Rock Slide. He doesn't know I have Rock Slide. Although it's pretty obvious that I'd have Rock Slide. Why wouldn't I have Rock Slide? That makes no sense. And that. Oh wow! Wow! That almost killed him. That was impressive. I like that. All right, Dragon Claw. Uh, the good thing about my Star Raptors, I believe, it outspeeds Mega Gar Gengar, or uh, without any damage, it counters Mega Gengar. So. As long as I can keep Star Raptor alive, I can beat this Gengar. Um, and obviously, if he switches in the Gengar now, I can't switch out. Which is unfortunate, but I can't do anything about it. He's going to bring in the Garchomp with uh, the Gyarados. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm going to go for the Dragon Claw again. I mean, it's going to kill him, so there's really no reason not to. Um, and I don't want to sacrifice anything just yet. Right? Alright. Um, I guess my Ferrothorn would be like my last savior sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna go for Earthquake because just in case, like say he goes for Burn, which would make no sense. I don't know why he'd go for Burn, that'd make literally absolutely zero sense. Yeah, he's just gonna go for Sludge Bomb. Alright, I, I kinda figured he'd attack me. Because Burn would make, like I've said, three, four times already? It makes no sense. Um, I do have full HP with my Star Raptor, so a Brave Bird should take it out. 
And I believe I can survive one attack. I, I don't know exactly. But let's see. Brave Bird. And I am Scarf, so I should outspeed, I think. I haven't done the sp speed calculation yet. The Star Raptor was on my doubles team with the specific intent of countering Gengar. Um, because it can come in on the Shadow Ball, it can outspeed, and it can one-hit KO with Brave Bird. So. Yep, exactly how it's designed. Thank you, Star Raptor, because I couldn't have done it better myself. Alright, so that's going to be the episode of Rising Singles, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys at the next video. Peace.